On the 15th of April 2019, a massive fire broke out on the roof of the Notre Dame, one of the most culturally significant architectural landmarks in the historical city of Paris. This fire came down about two minutes ago from uh, our, our apartment. The sky is, still, is full of smoke. And, and you can... As the most storied cathedral in France, many significant historical relics, statues, and works of art were in danger of being completely lost to the flames. But almost four years after the incident, what actually caused the fire in the first place? Was it just an accident, or did someone deliberately set the cathedral on fire? Let's find out. The Notre Dame de Paris, as its name suggests, is located in the literal heart of the French capital on an island along the River Seine. In fact, the city's official reference point, or kilometer zero, wherein all distances to and from Paris are calculated, lies at a spot directly in front of the cathedral. Construction on the Notre Dame began in 1163, after it was commissioned by King Louis VII. He wanted this new cathedral to show Paris religious, political, and cultural significance to the rest of the world. Present at the laying of the first stone piece for the structure was the French king himself, the Pope, and finally, Bishop of Paris Maurice de Sully, who largely oversaw the entire project and is often credited for the success of the cathedral's construction. The main structure of the cathedral took almost an entire century to complete because of its intricate Gothic patterns and designs. Along with the relatively primitive methods of construction at the time, the cathedral would continue to be modified over the next few years after the main structure's completion in 1260. One such notable change was the construction of the two iconic towers along the west façade in the early 13th century. Ever since the cathedral was finally completed in 1345, it has become the site of many important events in the history of France. In 1431, for example, the Notre Dame bore witness to the coronation of Henry VI of England as the King of France. In 1793, during the French Revolution, the cathedral was rededicated to the cults of reason and the supreme being, which were attempts to replace the Roman Catholicism within the country. During this period of time, many religious artifacts and symbols housed in the cathedral were destroyed, including 28 statues of biblical kings found at the building's west façade, which were all beheaded. By the year 1801, after the conclusion of the French Revolution, an agreement between Napoleon Bonaparte and the Pope reinstated the cathedral back to the Catholic Church. Just three years later, Napoleon's coronation as the first emperor of the newly formed French Empire took place at this historic site, wherein he personally crowned himself, breaking tradition and establishing a new beginning for the entire country. Prior to Napoleon's coronation, the cathedral had already been slowly deteriorating over the years, and this was further exacerbated by vandalism during the Napoleonic Wars. The state of the structure during the early 1800s was in such disarray that French officials at the time considered demolishing it altogether. But in 1831, French writer and politician Victor Hugo wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame to raise awareness of the cathedral's historic and cultural importance to France. The novel soon became a huge success, and in 1844, it was proclaimed that the historic landmark was to undergo a major restoration process. During this 19th century restoration, the cathedral's iconic spire, which burned down during the 2019 fire, was constructed. One interesting thing to note about the cathedral's spire was that at its tip was a copper rooster that served two purposes, one practical and one spiritual. Being the highest point of the structure, the metal rooster served as a lightning rod for the building. On the other hand, three important religious relics were contained inside the metal bird a fragment of the crown of thorns, and two relics from the patron saints of Paris. These relics supposedly served as a spiritual lightning rod that protected any worshippers inside. Today, because of the Notre Dame's storied past and cultural significance, the cathedral is designated as a World Heritage Site. In fact, even as recently as the early 1970s, new discoveries are still being made on the site that reinforces the cathedral's historic importance. Ancient ruins have been unearthed in the 70s beneath the cathedral, depicting pagan sculptures, which have now been determined to be the remnants of an ancient city of Lutetia, which was the predecessor to the modern-day city of Paris. 
As of the most recent figures, the famous cathedral used to receive an estimated 14 million visitors each year, making it the most visited monument in all of France, even surpassing the iconic Eiffel Tower. It goes without saying that the Notre Dame is one of the most well-known and important landmarks in France. So it comes as no surprise that when news of the 800-year-old cathedral burning in flames reached the international community, many were deeply saddened and distraught as live images and videos of the historic cathedral on fire were broadcast all over the world. And think about this, it's the start of Holy Week. This morning the fire is out. It is estimated that around 6.18 p.m. on the 15th of April, 2019, the fire started in the cathedral's attic. Just two minutes later, at 6.20, the first fire alarm went off, and the building's guards quickly evacuated everyone who was inside at the time. It was reported that most of the worshippers and tourists inside were initially immobilized by shock, but evacuated the premises in an orderly manner. One of the guards was then sent to investigate the triggered alarm, but was mistakenly given the wrong location. Around 15 minutes later, when the guard returned to find no signs of fire, the employee who gave the wrong location realized their error. The guard was then sent to the correct location, but during all this time that the fire had been burning in the attic, the fire brigade had still not been notified of the incident. By the time the guard arrived in the attic, the fire had been raging for more than half an hour already. At exactly 6.51 p.m., the fire brigade had finally been notified and quickly arrived at the scene less than 10 minutes later. When the firefighters arrived at the scene just past 7 p.m., flames were already visible from the outside. Blaze advancing, unstoppable, creeping across the roof, engulfing the spire. And this morning, we're talking about one of the great watching. symbols of Paris that and all of Western spire, civilization. It is still standing. In order to further preserve the cathedral's structure, the fire was fought from the inside, which posed a greater risk to the firefighters, but ensured that no flames would inadvertently be blown inwards. Additionally, the fire brigade made use of lower water pressure to minimize the potential damage to the main structure. This made it more difficult for the firefighters to effectively extinguish the flames. At 7.50, the structure's iconic spire collapsed and fell onto the roof, which had been burning for almost two hours now. By this point, the fire had already spread to the wooden framework of one of the towers, which housed the cathedral's bells. Firefighters were worried that if the bells were to fall from the burning tower, it would have greatly damaged the rest of the structure. So, by 8.30 p.m., firefighting efforts were refocused into saving the towers instead. Finally, by 9.45, the fire was declared to be under control. By the morning of the next day, the fire had officially been declared to be extinguished. Thanks to the effort of more than 400 firefighters, the cathedral's main structure, facade, towers, buttresses, and iconic stained glasses were all saved. More than two-thirds of the roof, along with the entire wooden spire, were destroyed, as most of the debris fell onto the stone vault underneath. A small section of the vault was also collapsed during the incident, which allowed some of the debris from the roof and spire to reach all the way down to the floor. Thankfully, because of an ongoing renovation at the time, some of the artwork stored in the building was removed for safekeeping, even before the fire started. Notably, 16 religious statues depicting the 12 apostles and four evangelists, which had been on the spire for more than a century, were removed for cleaning during the renovations. Most of the Notre Dame's most valuable and important relics, such as the crown Jesus supposedly wore during his crucifixion and an actual piece of the cross where Jesus was crucified, were left unharmed within the cathedral's treasury. The rooster-shaped reliquary placed on top of the wooden spire, which collapsed, was later found to be slightly deformed and damaged amongst the debris. The fire soon became the top news story all over the world, as the international community stood in solidarity with the French people. French President Emmanuel Macron was one of the first to share his thoughts about the incident. Our thoughts go out to all Catholics and to the French people. Like all of my fellow citizens, I am sad to see this part of us burn tonight, he wrote on Twitter. Former U.S. President Barack Obama expressed his solidarity by writing, We're thinking of the people of France in your time of grief. The late Queen Elizabeth II wrote a letter directly to President Macron, saying, My thoughts and prayers are with those who worship at the cathedral and all of France at this difficult time. 
financial difficulties to make. Just a day after the fire, French officials who were investigating the cause announced that they saw no evidence pointing towards the incident being a deliberate act. The investigation quickly focused on the ongoing renovation work on the cathedral when the fire occurred. According to the experts, the renovations posed a great risk of fire as the space surrounding the roof was primarily made of dry wood, which could have easily caught on fire. An initial hypothesis as to the cause of the fire was cigarette butts found on the renovation scaffolding during that preliminary investigation. The company responsible for the renovations did confirm that, going against regulation, their workers indeed smoked on site, but refused to acknowledge that it could have started the fire in the first place. Another leading theory is that the tower's electric bell ringing apparatus may have malfunctioned and caused a short circuit that ultimately led to the tragic incident. Today, almost four years since the Notre Dame caught on fire, a definitive cause still has not been found. Shortly after the fire, an international fundraising event to reconstruct the historic cathedral began. Less than a day after French President Emmanuel Macron announced a public call for donations, almost one billion US dollars had already been pledged by French billionaires and corporations. Some notable brands and corporations that donated a substantial amount include Louis Vuitton, L'Oreal, Apple, and Disney. A design competition was then announced to redesign the collapsed roof and spire of the building. This quickly drew criticism from academics and professionals, saying that the French government is neglecting the comprehensive legal process in restoring and preserving cultural heritages, such as the Notre Dame. Three months after the incident, the French National Assembly passed a law that required the restoration to preserve the structure's historical, artistic, and architectural design. The first stage of the restoration began in October 2019 and involved the stabilization of the entire structure in order to prevent it from collapsing. Around 300 tons of melted metal, scaffolding, and rubble had to be removed before any reconstruction could begin. The first stage was completed in November 2020. By September 2021, it was announced that all the necessary safety work on the cathedral had finally been completed. Shortly after, actual reconstructive work on the structure had finally begun. During a preventive dig that was conducted before any actual scaffolding could be built for the restoration, several archaeological relics such as statues and tombs were unearthed. These newly discovered artifacts were dated as far back as the 12th and 13th centuries, back when the structure was still under construction. Today, restoration work continues to be conducted on site. A collective effort from architectural and structural experts from all over Europe and the rest of the world are hard at work to restore the 13th century cathedral back to its former glory. The Notre Dame is currently scheduled to reopen by 2024, just in time for the 2024 Summer Olympics, which will be hosted by the city of Paris. What do you think about the ongoing restoration of the Notre Dame de Paris? Do you think they will be able to complete it before the 2024 deadline? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about another iconic French landmark, you should watch our video about the Eiffel Tower. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.